lads, lassies, before we get into this video, give us a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit me up on Instagram, changi underscore bricklayer, and you can follow me on TikTok as well. Hey up everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're on a new job, it's a new year. Uh, Happy New Year to you all, and I hope you've had a good Christmas. Right, we've come on to this job. It's uh, building a church, I believe. Uh, we've got a couple of issues with the brickwork. Uh, there's a few different levels been used, but the main issue I'm just going to show you now. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. It's a new year. It's a new start. Me and Ozzy, we're at it again. Eyes down, looking. Right, this is the elevation we're starting on. We've got a half brick over that side to start off with to bring it up to coursing and this side has already been built independently the two sides don't meet so what we're saying is there's a 40 mil discrepancy the only thing we can do here is run the discrepancy along the face where it'll get lost a little bit more so we're going to go to the top that's where the line should be for level and that's where we're going we're going to go from there Put in whatever the cut is underneath so this is 140 under there so we're going to squeeze two tight courses and then at the other end we're going to use 100 mil snap header then when we get on top of this we're going to grind it down a couple of mil of course in 15 we'll be able to get 30 mil there'll only be a 10 mil discrepancy when we get to the top then which by the eye won't look too bad so that's, that's how we've had to set it up. Then we're going to have to pull across to this pier because that's the same height as that. And then we'll get on two courses and then we'll start grinding this as well so as it looks right. There's a lintel to go in uh, at 3.1 uh, and then this has got to come all round. So let's get on with it. Let's get everything run in, get it up to this side and then we'll start grinding it down and work it in. That's it. Now you've seen that issue what I've just put in front of you with the uh, half coursing. Now when it's 40 mil like that, there's only there is only two options you can do. On that pillar on the back side, there's a movement joint. You can either step the two elevations and use expermet, uh, or just step it at that that point. Yeah, you'll have to use expermet or through the in, uh, through the movement joint and have it stepped. You'll be able to see it, which the client doesn't want, or you pick your longest elevation like I'm going to and you run it down or up and then to you run it down or up to the existing brickwork on one side which we're going to run it down to the other side and then you pick your level where you're going to start and you're going to have to grind it down or pick it up whichever whichever it is so on my left hand side it is uh technically going to be lower than the brickwork I'm putting in that side so basically what I'm doing is I'm putting a pig in the wall purposely to get around this issue so on one side I'm going to have 15 courses on the other side I'll have I'm going to have to try and squeeze an extra course in on yeah so this side left hand side I'm going to have 15 courses the right hand side I'm going to squeeze an extra course in and get 16 so I'm intentionally putting a pig in the wall which it's not right, but there's no other way of doing it. If you don't want to pull down an existing work, that's the only way to do it. Um, we'll see how it looks. I don't know. Are you going to, in about five, six, I don't know, is it about seven metres long? Six or seven metres long, 40 mil to pick up, uh, to grind down. It's a big ask, but you can't just run it level all the way across, meet up with the other brickwork, and then magically somehow get it to work you can't do that so the best way to do it is to lose it in a longer run and that's what i'm going to do and that's what you'll see Thank you. 
pulled this up now, got it over here, I've had to bridge the gap, put some slip ties underneath here to get it back across. Uh, that was what was left beforehand. I'm pretty sure this is lens large, I'm just gonna have to double check. But what we've done is we've incorporated a, a, a trade amp that sits underneath these, and then this will fold up and go into the block weight behind. Because this is a roof section, I'm pretty sure this uh, hips down here, that's where the flash, it's a flat roof section. So the flashing will come up, insulation, and then tie into underneath this dam. Uh, and then gradually now this is getting ground down. If you have a quick look across there, we pull it all in, we've had to grind down, do a bit of jiggly poking around, but it's getting nice. And then I'm just having to build here, around the year, get that in, and then a lintel goes across really onto that other side. Uh, and then this will run through, pick up that, and there'll be one on the back as well. So let's get a little bit of brick lane action. Well, we got to the end of the day, we've got one course left to put on, and uh, that one course. Once that one course is on, I'll show you, we've got it back to bang on level. And it actually doesn't look too bad, it looks all right. Uh, would you believe it? But, you'll have to see that in tomorrow's video because we have left sight already. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna put the one course on and then we're gonna jump on the back and back it all up, have a look at some block work, and then that section will be finished. So, if you've enjoyed today's video, give us a like. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it's free, it doesn't cost a thing. And if you do subscribe, hit that notification bell and you'll be reminded every time I upload a video. See you in tomorrow's.